All right, well, this is a video that's gonna just help you understand a little bit about Facebook and posting. So let's just talk about posting. Posting, you want something that captures people's attention and it's with a question mark. Remember the whole goal of Facebook is to gain the algorithm so that you come up to the front all the time. Now, of course, it's best that you have your own private Facebook page in Mary Kay for all your customers, family, and friends that can see that things are going on. So it's creating a second or third or whatever Facebook page, another Facebook page with a snappy, cute name. It could be your first name in MK Beauty uh, Box. I mean, I could be all kinds of things, whatever, um, you know, whatever you want it to be. Just get some kind of fun, catchy name that's not really long that people can find you all the time. And invite your friends from your regular Facebook to join. As you meet people out and about and getting names and phone numbers, let them know that you're going to text them and share with them your private Facebook page so they can see all the offers and things going on. Now, this is really just to talk to you about postings. If you just post product up there and wait for the phone to ring, it's probably not going to happen. So let me just share a little bit about how this should work. A lot of my consultants and directors do what they call a product preview and then a product commercial and then a personal thing um, and then do a freebie Friday. You can do whatever you want, but this is just like an idea. First off, people want to see results. That's just kind of the way it is. It's like, how did that happen to her? How did that happen to her skin? I mean, how does that work? So having pictures ahead of time really does make a difference. So let's say on Monday, and if you do this every Monday, you're kind of also getting yourself really in the rhythm of doing this regularly. Let's say on Monday, you post some pictures, which I'm going to show you. And the caption is, who wakes up with puppy eyes? Oh my gosh, look at these before and afters. So I'm going to screen share this with you so that you can see this. Now, Google is your friend. So you can all go on to Google at any time and just type in instant eye puffiness reducer before and after. So you could use Rachel Bond. You could use this gal here. You could use this woman over here. I mean, there's lots of different ones up there and you can see the difference right here, okay? So there's a lot of difference. So what if on your, on your Facebook post on Monday, you posted, oh my gosh, look at this girl had puppy eyes or who has puppy eyes and would love to get rid of their puppy eyes in the morning? Um, you know, or whatever you want to say, it's always asking a question. Do you have puffy eyes? Do you wake up with puffy eyes in the morning? If so, check this out. Look at these before and after photos, okay? So you're just going to post these photos on this first day. You're not going to say what it is, how much it is, or anything. So that would be day one, okay? So then on day two, you're going to go on to the Mary Kay Video Lounge, and you're going to find in the shareable videos, and I'm going to show you where this is, you're gonna go on to the Mary Kay Video Lounge under the shareable products, here we go, and you're gonna find the one on the instant eye puffiness. And you're going to, well, I'll watch, I'll show you this. You're gonna click that one on, okay? And now you're gonna, over here to the right, you're gonna copy and paste it into your Facebook. And it is gonna say, watch this video and comment below. Watch under eye bags, fade in an instant. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. So what you've done on the first day is you've posted the before and after. And in the question comment there, in the question area, you could say, who wakes up with puffy eyes? How would you like to get rid of them? Comment below. Okay. Then on day two, you show that recording. Oh, my gosh, you guys are going to love this product. What did you learn about this product? And let them comment. On Wednesday, you could get on and say, okay. And you could go live on Facebook every Wednesday and say, all right, this is the instant eye puffiness reducer. You only need a rice grain and you pat it just a little bit underneath your eye area. What happens is while you're sleeping, liquid accumulates under some of our eyes and we wake up with puffy eyes in the morning. But you don't need a lot and you could demonstrate it really quickly. Please comment below if you'd like to find out about this special price because I'm giving one on Friday. Now, here's the thing. If they comment on um if they comment on Monday and they comment on Tuesday and they comment on Wednesday, on Friday, you could go on Facebook Live or even Thursday and say, okay, everybody commented at least three times this week. I'm going to put your name in here. And the winner is Susan Smith. She gets a free instant eye puffiness reducer. Oh my gosh, we can't wait to send this to you. And all of those of you who commented at least two or more times, I'm going to message you with a special price. And so then you're on Messenger. 
with all those people. And maybe you give it to them instead of 38 for 33 and it's a 48 hour offer. Okay. So that's one of the many ones you can do. So then you can go back and besides the instant eye puffiness, what else could you share? There are so many shareable products in here um, under the gallery area here. I just wanted to share this with you. And if you think this is all of them, all you go down here is load more. And there is load more like the silky setting powder. I absolutely love also the oil for a makeup remover. It would be a question. How many of you have a hard time getting your eye makeup off at night and then maybe um, show a before and after, which again, Google before and after eye makeup remover on Mary Kay. Then here's the little video for this. So again, you pull this up. And um, you let this reel go and it talks about the oil for eye makeup remover and you highlight and copy and paste it. It makes you look super professional, but it's also getting people's attention. So think about all the different things. We have a brand new for like um, um, nice minute acid on our boosters. Um, so you definitely want to see that. There was some beautiful pictures of before and after with aging spots and brown spots on someone's arm in a week that they were gone. And so get those before and afters, post the before and afters with a question. Who would like to get rid of some of their age spots and brown spots? Look at these before and afters. Don't say the product, don't give the price. Create that mystique, create that aura about this whole thing. That's the great thing about Facebook. So I hope that you do well on Facebook postings. Remember, don't just post product, post questions, show before and afters. Those are your best results and the best way to get people to engage with you on Facebook, okay? I hope this helps.